Hi, this is Lou Depot, and we're going to do a small little class on BTUs. And what BTU stands for, of course, is British Thermal Unit. And what is a BTU? Well, a BTU is the amount of energy it takes to raise the temperature of one pound of water one degree. So you have a pound of water in a pot, and you hold a lighter under it, and you actually put a thermometer. Here's your water. Here's your thermometer. And you put a match under here. If the thermometer is on 70, and you hold the match under that pot of water until the thermometer reaches 71 degrees Fahrenheit, you have used one BTU. That's how a BTU is measured. That's one BTU. Of course, when you do a boiler on a plumbing job in a house, you're in the thousands of BTUs because you need a lot of heat to heat the house and that takes a lot of energy or a lot of matches. But that's a BTU. And there is a very simple guide. If you need to know how many BTUs you need to about to put in a room either to heat or air conditioning, it's about the same. It, there, there is a simple guide, and it's five BTUs per cubic foot. And that's it. That's what you need. You need five BTUs per cubic foot. So if you had a room 10 foot by 10 foot, with eight and eight foot ceilings, you would do um, ten times ten would be one hundred square foot, and then times eight would be eight hundred cubic foot. Since you need five BTUs per cubic foot. You would type eight times eight hundred by five, and you'd come up with four thousand BTUs. That's approximately what you would need in a room ten by ten with an eight foot high ceiling. Now, if the room is really tight. And it's and there's no windows or maybe no outside walls or you could actually go down to four BTUs per cubic foot. If it if it's not tight and there's not not good insulation, you'd stay at five. But you could go down to four, or if it's real tight, maybe even three. And then that that would cut your BTU down for that room to thirty two hundred. So if you were to buy an air conditioner or you needed a piece of baseboard and you wanted to calculate how much for that room, that's how you would do it. You would get an air conditioner that was sub somewhere between three and 4,000 BTUs. And the same with heat. Baseboard heat gives out 600 BTUs per lineal foot. A 10-foot piece would give you 6,000 BTUs. That would be a little too much. You need almost about half of that. So probably in that room, a five or six foot piece would be about right. Now, if somebody's going to calculate the BTUs for you on a boiler for a whole house, years ago, it was easy. A plumber would walk into a house and say, well, it's 100,000 BTUs, or it's 150,000 BTUs, the house is large. Or you live way up north, it's 175,000 BTUs. Well, a plumber that does that these days, don't forget we're in 2012, is either lying or he just doesn't know. You can't possibly calculate in your head what a house needs these days because all the houses now, 
since the Home Depot opened 30 years ago have been sealed tight, double pane windows, insulated everywhere, corked every square inch to save fuel. So now these rooms are very tight. And the only way to really figure it out is to do a heat loss calculation in every room. If there's two windows, if there's outside walls, that all comes into play. If there's a ceiling that's cold above it, or cold a, bit, a floor where it's cold below it, that comes into play. If you have a wall or a ceiling where it's heated on the other side or above, maybe there's a second story with heat, that ceiling or wall does not come into play. But there is a heat loss calculation on the cold walls, the walls with windows, the walls with doors, and it's very easy enough to, it's, it's online, it's just any heat loss calculation. And what you do is you would calculate room by room, and you would come up with every room 4,000, 5,000, 7,000, 9,000, and then you would add that all together. And that's the heat loss that the house has, and if it comes to 80,000, then you would have to get a boiler that produces 80,000 BTUs per hour to put back into the house. You can't just walk into a house anymore and say it's 100,000 BTUs or it's 150,000 BTUs because they're way oversized. If you oversize the boiler, you're wasting your money. You're wasting your money with the fuel to heat that extra water when it's not necessary to create that extra BTUs when it's not necessary. If they can't do a heat loss calculation, they shouldn't be doing heating. It's that simple.